All right, guys, uh, welcome to the fourth video. So today we're going to be setting up the migration in the seeds. Luckily for us, we only have one entity, i.e. to-dos. Uh, so this really shouldn't take all that long. Um, let's go ahead and clear that out. So now we installed we installed Connects uh, globally to use it as a command line, which makes life a lot easier. Uh, so now all we need to do to uh, start a migration, or to make a migration rather, is to say connects, uh, migrate, make, and the name of the migration. So we're going to create to do table. This is a really good naming convention for migrations. Um, just saying exactly what it is that you can do. So if anybody else happens to see these migrations, um, despite how obvious it may be already, it's just a good habit to get into. Um, so we'll go ahead and do that. So now it uses our environment development and it created a migration because we're currently in that, in that environment. So let's go over to DB in migrations. Oh look, how about that? If we look in our connects file, we see migrations are supposed to go into dir name, so our root directory and then in the DB and the migrations folder, so it went exactly where it needed to go, which is awesome. All right, so let's close all this clutter crap down and let's open this migrations file. Awesome, so we see this, we have this exports up and then blah, 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 exports down. Basically what this is is exports up. If you say migrate latest, it will, it will throw all these tables up. If you say uh, if you say migrate rollback, it will just take all of your uh, tables away, and or you know and you know make it so you can roll out with all the stuff that you had before. So um, let's go ahead and create this export up. So here we're going to uh, say um, return uh, connects dot schema uh, dot create table table. Uh, users, users, come on, to do's, and so inside of this um, create table, we have two parameters. The first one is the name of the table, and then this, uh, the second one is the callback function that creates the table for us. Um, so here we're going to say uh, function, so function takes table which is going to be our actual table. So we're going to create a few different, uh, we're going to uh, create a number of different um, columns for this. The first one was going to create an ID and connects really makes it easy for us. Um, and this will make it the primary key, it'll make it serial, and it just is awesome. So all we have to say is table.increments and then call that. That gives us that ID. Um, and so, okay, so the next one, the next two, uh, the next one that we're gonna do is we're gonna do a created at. So we're gonna say table dot time stamp dot, or actually uh, created at, at. And then we're going to set the default value just so we don't have to submit this um, as we send it. So dot default to, um, connects.fn.now. Basically, get the get the time right now and default to that. The next one we're going to do is going to be a title. So we're going to say table dot or table yeah table dot string, and then it's going to have the uh, title name, and then we'll say that this is not nullable. Which is nice, right? Because then you have you don't have to write out the whole SQL query, not null. Da, 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 da. Uh, this just makes life a little bit easier. So in the next one, we're gonna do the completed tag. So we're gonna say table dot boolean, and we're gonna call it completed. Completed, uh, and we will also make that not nullable. And uh, we're also going to have this dot default default to false. Okay. Um, and that's going to be all of the stuff for the uh, creating the to-do table. Then when we export down, we're going to just 
uh, drop the table. So then we'll say return connects.schema dot drop table to do's and that is all we have to do so now let's go ahead and migrate this and so to do that we'll say connects migrate um my uh, sorry yeah migrate latest and that will go ahead and run all those migrations and we can see that if we connect to our post go we go back here and see um, connects to do's, where is it, there it is. And we see that it's ran. So now we have to, our to do's, we have our ID, our created, our title, and our completed. So awesome, that works perfect. So there's that. Uh, let's go ahead and create our seed. So we'll tick this to say that we're done with that. So now we just have to tick it, uh, finish up the seeds. Um, we said in the connects file that we will, um, put, oh, in the connects file that we are going to be in db forward slash seeds as dis, uh, displayed by such things. And so let's go ahead and create that. So we'll clear this out and we'll say um, connects seed make. Um, to do to do's dot seed. Actually, let's not do that. We'll say zero. It, this is a good habit to get into because this way you can actually order which uh, which one goes first. Um, because if you have multiple seeds and things that are dependent on each other, it's just kind of a good habit to get into. So zero one to do's dot j uh, zero one to do's. We'll just leave that, and then so it creates that file zero one to do's uh, dot js. Luckily for us, um, we only have a few things to do, so we'll just make the one, and we'll copy paste it a few times. We'll do id of one, um, and then let's go ahead and uh, change call name to title. And then we're going to do, let's do this. We will copy, paste, and say completed, completed. And this will be false, completed, true. And then completed. Um, and that is all we need to put in. We should put a create a dot. Let's do this. Created at a date dot now. And then we'll just copy. As such. Okay, here's the hoping that doesn't break. Shouldn't. Um, okay, so now that we have those set up, let's uh, set a title of get some milk um, run 10 miles and take a shower or something. Okay. So let's see if this works. Uh, let's go to um, connects, seed, and seed run. And in theory, that breaks. Why does this break? Table name, ah, we need to tell it exactly what the table name is in two places, here and here. So let's say to do's, because what happens here is when we, when we seed it, it deletes all of the data then it reseeds it like that. So that's why that happens. Let's see if we can run this again. And we broke it again. Date, time field, out of range. What? Oh, you know what? 
actually get rid of these. Let's see if that works. Boom. Awesome. Let's see what happened in our post to go. So when we refresh this, awesome. So it went ahead and just created that time using the um, connects.fn.now. Great. Awesome. So um, that's it for this video. So now we have some stuff that we can play with in the database. Um, if you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them in the uh, comment area below. Other than that, I look forward to uh, your subscriptions and likes, and I'll see you in the next video.